I'm Christmas Abbott and I own CrossFit Invoke in Raleigh, North Carolina and I love to change tires. There's a lot of similarities from the basics of CrossFit that transfer into changing tires. When I was hitting lug nuts, that drive with the elbows was so similar to a push press. Then pulling the tire was also similar to a push press, using my hips to hinge and then pull. Running around, just being able to open the hips and drive with the elbows. Those are a lot of correlations between the two. I'm gonna show you a few of the key exercises that I've done in order to help my pit crewing. So the box jump, you're gonna start on the floor and then you're gonna jump to the top of the box and then full hip extension at the top. Hinge, jump, full hip extension. You can either step off or jump off and rebound. Jump, full hip extension, step off. If that dynamic movement kind of scares you or if you're having a little bit of knee or back injury, you can come and do what Hannah's doing and she's gonna step up. Full hip extension, meaning that she has locked booty and then she can step back down. To add a variance to this, you can just add a dumbbell, add some weight, or add a barbell, step up and step back down. You can do these slow and strong or fast. The next thing is gonna be the push jerk. Nice way to scale that is to do a push press. Go ahead. She's gonna rack it to the shoulders. Instead of receiving it in a low quarter of a squat, she's gonna receive it in a standing position. Go, three, nice. Still locking it out overhead. And then she can also interchange the barbell with some dumbbells. So you can have this at your home pretty easily. One of my other favorite movements is the air squat with just your body weight. I'm gonna start in a standing position. I'm gonna pull my hips down below my kneecap. So hip crease is below the kneecap. Weights in the heels, I'm gonna fully stand. I can add variance to this by adding weight in the front rack position, back or overhead. If this is a little bit difficult for you to be able to knock out some air squats, then we can add a little bit of assistance. Basically, you're sitting and you're standing. So you're gonna come down, touch or sit, and then she will stand. Believe it or not, this is how you get on and off your couch every day. These are just a few of the exercises that I do that help out with my pit crewing, but CrossFit has nine fundamental movements, and then you can build from there. And know that whatever the movement is, you can always scale or modify it to keep the stimulus, but also get a really great workout.